First question is from Dean, and he says this, what are your thoughts on stomach vacuums? So uh, this, and he says, are you a fan of this old school exercise for aesthetic and performance reasons? Do you think this sort of breathing uh, drill can improve anaconda strength? And that's why I like this question, uh, Dean. Uh, this exercise, the stomach vacuum, was a standard for bodybuilders for years. And it's one of those things, I don't know why they stopped doing it. Uh, if you read some of the old bodybuilding magazines, it was a standard idea. So, uh, and I was taught to do it this way, and I don't remember who taught this to me. Uh, I don't think it was Dick Notmeyer, but it might have been one of the bodybuilders who trained. You, you put your hands on your knees. You can do this seated. You can do this uh, standing, I guess. And you kind of turn your body into a, you know, kind of a turtle position, you know, the opposite of an Olympic lifter. And while you do this, then you try to drive your belly button into your spine. You suck your belly in. Now, this exercise has been around a long time. Uh, you'll see yoga practitioners doing it. Of course, there's always the caveat with yoga practitioners. What we consider yoga here in the United States and in the West, I'm pretty sure uh, England has the same issues. Uh, people came over about 100 years ago and taught this thing called yoga. It uh, Here in the United States, it's not part of the faith tradition. Um, and I've, I've discussed this many times with people. I always feel like, uh, I feel a little uncomfortable when I talk about what I hear at, in yoga practices. They, they tend to take... Uh, faith traditions and put them in a blender bzzz, and just spout out a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't really work in the traditions you're hearing. But it's a common exercise. Uh, when I was young, uh, this was, there was a guy in a TV show called Yoga for Life and it was a standard practice he used every time. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Vince Garanda recommends it in his uh, book, uh, The Wild Physique. Uh, what I wanted to tell you is an interesting thing. This is something most of you probably don't have. This is the health letter. And this is from 1974, volume three, number seven. Uh, and it's about girth control, avoiding the big middle. And uh, they talk about the wrong solution. And that's including wearing a girdle, which is something many people probably don't even know anymore, uh, or putting on those uh, big elastic bands. Uh, when I was young, they used to think these tight elastic bands around your waist would sweat the fat out. Now, oddly, if you're if you know your biochemistry, your physiology, or basic biology, it's kind of possible to think it is. No, you gotta be, it's true. You breathe out fat. Of course, you know it's car it carbon dioxide and water vapor. Uh, the carbon atoms, uh, the fat is made of just like most substances in your body, um, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Uh, when your body utilizes it, whew, you know, the, the waste products, I don't know what I'm even talking about anymore, but basically you can't sweat out fat, but you can breathe out fat technically. But these didn't work very well. But it's interesting because when they talk about what does work besides uh, dietary controls, the very first one is what we would call, it's called the abdominal uh, leaning, L-E-A-N device, pardon me, exercise, and you suck in your stomach. But Dean's question was interesting about anaconda strength. So uh, I think the suitcase carry is probably the world's best anaconda strength builder. I would put right next to it the bear hug carry, bears, I guess. Um, but it's interesting when he talked about this, because that is an area in my training that I, I, I've just not utilized very much in the last uh, while. And it's a great exercise. Uh, I worked with a woman years ago who did the stomach vacuum constantly. And you'd be talking to her standing and you'd hear these weird muffled breaths. Turned out that she had had some kind of surgery and that is what the PT had told her to do, the physical therapist, as part of her recovery. Well, the side benefit she noticed is that she really had a strong abdominal wall. Now, did the, the surgery do it? Did her appropriate eating habits and sleeping habits do it? Or did the stomach vacuum exercise do it? Well, of course, it's a combination of all. 
all of that. But I mean, if you're sitting in the car in, uh, you know, traffic, you know, sitting there and practicing your stomach vacuum, isn't a bad idea. Whether it, you know, gets you ready for the uh, Mr. Olympia crown, I don't know. But I think there's real value to it, especially like you said, this idea of anaconda strength. So thank you so much. Good question.